Boys and girls, welcome to ACF Arena for today's game between the Black and Blues and the Boston Bruins alumni. This is the 27th annual game, the longest running relationship between the Boston Bruins alumni and any team throughout New England. Our 27th season here, and, it's, and Bomber, you were here every single one. Tommy sung it every single one. So we would like to thank especially and salute Mr. Peter Crone, retired Brockton police. This man has taken the black and blues literally all over the world in diplomatic missions to play hockey twice in Russia and in China in tournaments again across North America. So today we salute the honorary coach of the black and blues, Mr. Peter Crone. Everybody give it up for Peter, the best man there is. You sir, are one great guy. And that's the reason why the Boston Bruins alumni do games like this, is to work with partners like Peter and don't forget his better half, Karen Crone. Now folks, we have a program booklet that contains the names of the residents, merchants, and sponsors who have continually helped out the Black and Blues. The proceeds today will go to Medical Missions for Children, a nonprofit group of doctors, nurses, and staff who travel the world providing free surgeries for cleft lip and facial reconstruction. We are also supporting Massasoit Community College Foundation, the Brockton Rotary Club, Breast Cancer, Lori's Breast Friends, Bro uh, Lori's Breast Friends in Brockton, and also the Massasoit Girls Softball Team. And we'd also like to thank the Boston Bruins alumni and the FMC ACF Arena management and staff and all of our volunteers. So how about a round of applause for all of our sponsors who have supported the Black and Blues and their missions throughout the year. Folks, the Boston Bruins alumni souvenir stand is open outside in the concourse area. We have t-shirts, caps, photographs, and more. That's the Boston Bruins alumni souvenir stand. And finally, we have a wonderful raffle going on here today. We have gift cards to stores and restaurants, autographed sports memorabilia, and more. It's one chance for a dollar or seven for five dollars. That's today's prize raffle. We have like two dozen prizes, so please help out the black and blues and the sports programs that they support. Let's meet today's lineups. First, let's meet the Black and Blues. As I mentioned, give it up one more time for their honorary coach, former captain Peter Crone. Yeah. And now let's meet today's players at center from the Massachusetts State Police, number 88, Peter LaDuke. Out of Brockton, in goal, number one, Ryan Dragonetti. From the Mass State Police at left wing, number two, Mike Close. From New Bedford Police Department on defense, number six, Scott Morton. From the Mass State Police at right wing, number eight, Greg Doherty. On defense, he's a major with the Mass State Police, number 11, Matt Roy. At left wing, he's a lieutenant with the Massachusetts State Police, number 14, Paul McGee. At center from the Raynham Police Department, number nine, Bobby Smith. In goal from the Mass State Police, number 30, Mike Zemanski. On defense, a sergeant with the Mass State Police, number 44, Steve Godfrey. On defense, a lieutenant with the Mass State Police, number 46, Paul Lecce. Just out of the Mass State Police Academy, right winger, number 72, Terrell Parent. Also just out of the Mass State Police Academy, number nine, Keith Aguiar. Folks, those are your black and blues. And now it's time to meet the Boston Bruins alumni. First, a 15-year veteran goaltender. He's played in three Stanley Cup finals and won the Jennings Trophy in 1990. Please welcome number one, Reg Lemelin. 
out of Northeastern University. He is the son of a Bruins Hall of Famer. He played in the AHL with Binghamton and also in the IHL with Saginaw and Muskegon. But today, he's the head of off-ice officials at the TD Garden. Please welcome number five, Mike Sanford. Broke in with the St. Louis Blues. Nine years in the NHL. He spent three seasons with the Boston Bruins. Over 1,000 career penalty minutes. Number six, Glenn Featherstone. <laughs> Boston College, five years in the NHL. He was a member of the Boston Bruins' 1988 Stanley Cup Finals team when he centered the old Boston sand and gravel line. Please welcome number 10, Bill O'Dwyer. Mike Mono's running late, not here yet. Boston College. He spent three years the NHL, and he's, today he's their youth hockey ambassador. Please welcome the Bomber, the Bruins alumni all-time leading scorer, number 17, Tommy Sungin. Out of Boston College, a 10-year NHL veteran and two-time Stanley Cup finalist. Today he's the executive director of the Boston Bruins Foundation. We call him Swoop, number 20, Bob Sweeney. Out of Boston University, a first round draft pick by the New York Islanders. Nine years the NHL with Pittsburgh, the Rangers, and with the Bruins from 2005 to 2006. Number 28, Dan Latcher. In goal, he's the son of a Boston Bruin two-time Stanley Cup finalist. He's been with the Boston Bruins alumni for over a decade from Plymouth State University. Number 37, Sean Miller. Drafted by the Los Angeles Kings, he played four years in the NHL, and he's in the top ten all-time in penalty minutes in the history of the AHL. We call him Shoe, number 40, Bruce Shoebottom. A six-year veteran in the NHL, he spent four seasons with the Toronto Maple Leafs, and he single-handedly defeated the Canadians on Hockey Night in Canada with two goals. He's the son of a six-time Stanley Cup champion, number 41, Guy LaRose. Out of Lawrence Academy, a first-round draft pick by the Hartford Whalers. Five years the NHL. He was the leading goal scorer on the 1984 U.S. Olympic hockey team. Number 44, David Jensen. Next up, he played two years the NHL with the Bruins and the Rangers, and he won Calder Cup championships with Providence and Hartford in the American Hockey League. Please welcome, on defense, number 71, Jerry Virtue. And finally, former captain of the Boston Bruins today, the president of the Boston Bruins alumni, 14 years in the NHL, a three-time NHL All-Star, and two-time member of Team Canada, we call him Nifty, number 16, Rick Middleton. The honorary coach, a third-generation Bruin family, Ari Sanford. Behind the bench, the director of hockey operations, Battleship Bob Cormier, Mike Foley, Frank Walker, and Tony Marchetti. Let's meet our officials for today's game. First, he's from Abington, Massachusetts. He's the referee extraordinaire, Spex Cobbin. And the other official today is the supervisor of ECAC officials. He's officiated two Outdoor Winter Legends Classics. Number nine, Don Garcia. Our honorary coach for today's game out of the University of New Hampshire, a six-year NHL veteran and two-time Stanley Cup finalist with the Boston Bruins. He was one of 11 Bruins to score 20 or more goals 40 years ago on the 78 team. He's also a member of the 1976 U.S. Olympic hockey team. Please say hello to Bob Miller. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we ask that you kindly rise to present colors Representing the sons of the American Revolution, Steve Watts, Ken Doton, and Jerry Hazeldine. And now, to introduce to you to sing the national anthem of the United States of America and O Canada. Just the USA anthem, I guess. We're, we're far enough south. This guy is a Boston Garden and TD Garden legend. 42 years he has sung the national anthem before Boston Bruins game in his final season this year, 2018. Please say hello to the legend, the one and only, Mr. Rene Rancor. Stop. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for Renee Rancourt. A special thanks to Matt from Brockton Cable Access Television and to Ned Constantino, Sports Shop. And again, everybody saying hello to Renee Rancourt. Folks are playing two 25 minute running time periods. Don't forget about the Boston Bruins Alumni Souvenir Stand. And also stop by the raffle table. Dozens of prizes to give away. Team photo. Rick Middleton, representing the Boston Bruins alumni. Matt Roy, representing the Black and Blues. Thanks once again, Brendan and Court, as he always does, kicking off this classic game. Also on defense number 44, Steve Godfrey. Starting in goal is Mike Zemanski. Mike Zemanski on the left wing for the Black and Blues. On the right side, Greg Doherty. For the Boston Bruins alumni, Bob Sweeney at center. Billy O'Dwyer left side. Right wing, Tommy Songen. Left defense, Mike Motto. Right defense, Glenn Featherstone. Play underway here in the first half. We're playing two halves. Don't forget about the raffle. The Boston Bruins alumni souvenir stand. Black and Blues, 27th year we've had this game. Greg Doherty comes through the neutral zone. Flipped ahead to Bobby Smith. Bobby Smith, watched by Mike Motto. Motts just picks his pocket. Mike Motto, Avon Mass, just up the road. Kind of a home game for him. Only player in the history of Avon to make it to the, the NHL. Here's Bob Sweeney, gains the line. Acton Boxborough, off for Tom Sung and out of Walpole Mass. This is the BC line. Sweeney goes in deep behind the net. Left it for Billy O'Dwyer. Billy O'Dwyer, South Boston. A lot of Massachusetts natives made it and got to play with the hometown team. A knuckleball there through the seam there, and it's a goal. It's one nothing. Bomber unassisted. Boston Bruins alumni goal scored by number 17, Tom Sungin. Unassisted at 50 seconds, Sungin unassisted. It's 1 0 Boston. Woo! Well, that was good. Help me out with that today. I'll need help on that. We can make it sound like the TD Garden here. Glenn Featherstone leaves it for Mike Motto. Nine years in the NHL for Mots. Hobie Baker Award recipient, all NCAA, all American. Now Bob Sweeney behind the net. Swoop, today the executive director of the Boston Bruins Foundation, an organization that raises millions of dollars for children's charities across New England. Swoop played 10 years in the NHL, six with Boston, had three 20 goal seasons in his career, three times over 100 penalty minutes, and eight shorthanded goals while playing with the Buffalo Sabres. Puck poked away, Bobby Smith locking in a clean break on Sean Miller. Smith moving in with a backhand, score! Bobby Smith with a goal, and he Smith right there. I'm going to go on. Well, those goals scored by Smith. Unassisted to 226. Smith unassisted. 226 and we're tied at one. Woo! Out comes Guy LaRose, six years in the league. His father, Claude, won six Stanley Cup championships to the Montreal Canadiens. Guy LaRose has over 400 career goals as a hockey professional. Six years in the NHL. Now Danny Lacature from Natick Mass in Cape Cod moves into the right wing corner. Danny Lack ran five Boston marathons for Boston Children's Hospital. You know, he got to play with his childhood idol, Mario Lemieux, while a member of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Also spent time with Carolina, the Rangers, and the Boston Bruins. 
In three years with Edmonton, here's Lacature with a drive and a save there made by Zeminski. Now Puck goes out to left point, shoe bottom. Bruins out shooting, black and blues, five to one early here. Shoe bottom plays it off for Lacature, wheels it to the left wing boards. Taken by LaRoe, swung out in front, a shot there, and they score! Boston Bruins alumni all served by number 71, Terry Virtue. By number 41, Guy LaRose. In number 2018, Virtue. Terry Bruin goal, 359, LaRose. Virtue from LaRose and Lacature. It's 2-1 Boston. Woo! Bruins with a 2-1 lead here early on. Puck taken back here. This is Greg Doherty, right wing side, sprawling to the ice, Guy LaRose, close now. A shot there by Doherty and a save by Sean Miller. Rebound taken by Dan Lacature. Danny Lacature snaps the pass ahead to Bruce Shoebottom. Shoe scored the game-winning goal in the 1988 Stanley Cup playoffs against Buffalo to help propel the Bruins to the Stanley Cup Finals. Lacature a backhand and a save by Zamanski. Puck behind the net. Lacature tried to work it in front, hit off a skate. Finally taken back here by Steve Godfrey. Mike Close now alleviates, alleviates the pressure. Here's Greg Doherty over the line. Doherty, a little poke check there and a sweep check by Shoebottom. Goes in deep, gets it back out here. A shot and a save by Sean Miller right off the stick of Paul McGee. Drops it off for David Jensen. David Jensen, the leading goal scorer for the 1984 U.S. Olympic hockey team. He was on a line with Ed Oldchuck and Pat LaFontaine. They call that the diaper line. As a shot by Jensen and a juggling save by Zemanski. And holds on for the faceoff. Faceoff coming up here in the black and blue zone. Faceoff right wing circle. Reggie Lemelin will take the draw. 15 years in the NHL. Won the draw back from Middleton. Just shot it wide. Reggie Lemelin won the Jennings Trophy in 1990. Won in three Stanley Cup Finals, one with Calgary and two with the Bruins. There's a shot and a left shoulder save by Sean Miller. Good pressure here by the Black and Blues. They trail 2-1 early on. Mike Motto in on the back check, took the puck away. Middleton now taps it ahead for Motto. Mike Motto up the right wing boards. Had two stints with the Florida Panthers. Played with the Bruins in 2011-2012. Reggie. Lemelin backs in. He broke the jinx against Montreal. Reg did in 1988. And he actually beat Montreal again at the Winter Legends Classic outdoors on New Year's Eve 2015. Now Reggie Lemelin, former goaltending coach of the Philadelphia Flyers, gains a line. Nearly 500 games in his career. Bouncing pass by Middleton. Tried to feather it through to David Jensen. Play along the left wing boards. Bouncing here for Lemelin. Reggie Lemlin, a shot there, saved by Zemanski. Puck is loose in front, swept to the right point, and out come the black and blues. Three on two if they hustle. Bobby Smith goes wide, joined by Keith Aguiar. Tried to drop back for Aguiar, a shot went wide. Puck all the way around, cycling right to left. Middleton tried to tap at it. Rick Middleton, 1,000 career points, two 100-point seasons. Won the Lady Bing Trophy in 1952, the same season he had 50 goals. Five straight 40-goal seasons, eight straight 30-goal seasons. He should be in Hockey's Hall of Fame, and the Bruins should be pulling number 16 and putting it in the rafters. Three-time NHL All-Star, the Bruins' all-time leading leader in shorthanded goals as well. Fourth in scoring. Jensen played up top for Shoebottom. Shoebottom off for Songen. Try to get it back for Jensen. Terry Virtue gets it back for Reggie. A shot there saved by Zemanski. Puck is loose, bounces behind the net. First on it, Black and Blues trying to work it out of their own end. This is Matt Roy. Goes in deep. A shot saved by Sean Miller. Gives it away here to Terry Virtue. Winding up Bob Sweeney. Swoop, six years with Boston, three with Buffalo, a year with the Islanders, and also a brief stint with Calgary. He was the president of the Boston Bruins alumni prior to Rick Middleton's tenure. Now played in deep. Swoop, great on the special teams as a 
Penalty killer on the power play. Songin shot and a save there by Zemanski. Sweeney out in front there for O'Dwyer. Point blank save by Zemanski. He is under siege right now. Terry Virtue bounces it for Tommy Songin out of Walpole Mass. Bomber's uncle was the quarterback, Butch Songin, of the first Boston Patriots in the old AFL. Puck played to center ice, Terry Virtue on it. Terry, the former captain of the Worcester Ice Cats in the AHL. Always a winner at any level that he played on. Two Calder Cup championships in the American Hockey League. An all-star. Now Song and Virtue, a shot there. Rebound, Song. Shoebottom tried to collect it. Terry Virtue, the Worcester Ice Cats, all-time leader in games, points, penalty minutes, and Worcester professional hockey. Today they've got a team called the Railers in the East Coast Hockey League. Back come the black and blues. Over the line, this is Terrell Perrant. And a glove save there by Miller, by Parent. Puck flipped out of the zone by Virtue. Chipped in the air by O'Dwyer. Bouncing puck. Settled down by Sweeney. Off for O'Dwyer. Gives it back for Sanga with a shot there. And they score! Boston Bruins alumni goal scored by number 17, Tom Songen. Assisted by number 10, Bill O'Dwyer. And number 20, Bob Sweeney. Time of the Bruin goal, 9.27. For Tom Songen, that's his second goal of the game, and it's 3-1 Boston. Woo! <coughs> you guys are doing good. I like that. Tommy Songen, Boston Bruins alumni, all-time leading scorer over the past four decades. And as I mentioned in the open, Bomber played in all 27 of these games here in Brockton. And what he does with kids all over New England, teaching them to play the great game of hockey, is magic. All across New England, Tommy Sung, what he does for kids' hockey and for the Boston Bruins, the alumni and the foundation as well. Out come the black and blues through center ice. Puck flipped in by Paul Lecce, a lieutenant with the Mass State Police playing defense today. Back comes Mike Sanford. Glenn Featherstone along the left wing boards. Leaves it here for LaRose. Taken back by Feather. Feather over 1,000 career penalty minutes, four times over 100 minutes in the season, once over 200 minutes in the season. He was a pugilist, a regulator, took them all on. Now Greg Doherty moving in with a shot there and a save by Sean Miller. Sean holding the short side. Now it swings it. Morton swung it on goal and a save by Sean, sprawling to the ice. Now another wraparound attempt there. And Sean falls on the loose puck. It's a goal. Black and Blues goal scored by 46, Paul Lecce. Unassisted. 17, Lecce. Unassisted. It's 3 to 2. Woo! I saw that. Thank you for participating in this BF Skinner behaviorism experiment when I go, Woo! There you go. There's a drive at the post there. Godfrey collects the rebound. Black and Blues have cut it to win them one. Now hustling after Guy LaRose. 3-2 the score. Try to drop it off to Danny Lacature. Back comes Bobby Smith. Through center ice. Lined up by Terry Virtue. Gains the line. Try to feed it back to Peter LeDuc. And take it away here at Dan Lacature. Sends it away to Terry Virtue. Busted in left wing side. Virtue holding. Goes in deep. Pursued by Mike Close. Plays it to the left wing corner. Dug out by Scott Morton. Up top. Intercepted Virtue, keeps it in the right point. Terry Virtue, double team, bats it back for Reggie Lemlin. Lemlin, a shot through a screen there, and they score! Bruins 
Collins alumni goal scored by number one, Reggie Lemelin. <coughs> Assisted by number 17, by number 71, Terry Virtue, and number five, Mike Sanford. Time of the goal, 13 minutes. Lemelin from Virtue and Sanford. It's 4-2 Boston. Woo! Woo. Woo. There we go. Puck behind the net, black and blues. Bruins have doubled their score, 4-2. Mike Close wheels it out of the zone, kept in nicely. Black and blues getting bottled up in their own zone. Finally, they break it out, three on one rush. Trying to move in over line, Mike Close. Dropped it back for the trailer, trying to give it back there to Peter LeDuc. Puck cleared along for Reggie Lemlin. Lined up by Roy, tipped away. Puck is loose. Middleton, nice job to keep it in right point. Finally taken away by Mike Close. That ahead for Bobby Smith. Off uh, for Peter LeDuc. Played into the Bruins zone as the black and blues go for a line change. Here with 10 minutes and 40 seconds to go in the first half. David Jensen, five years in the NHL. Coming off a hip surgery this year to rejoin the Boston Bruins alumni. Rick Middleton broke in with the New York Rangers before he came to the the team. Now Featherstone playing a little hurling, a little across there. Swung out by Motto. Lemlin bumped into play, checked off the puck, trying to break it back in. Here's Keith Aguiar with a drive, went wide. Rolls all the way to Middleton to center ice and tapped away by Featherstone. Aguiar, right side, trying to combine with Doherty. Out in front for Aguiar back. Are you okay, sir? The official specs comment, are you okay? You got a cold, yeah? And there's a cold right there. Four to three. I can't see his number, but it's Doherty unassisted. Blues goal scored by eight Greg George. Unassisted at 15, 20, 40, unassisted. Four to three. Woo! Black and Blues hanging around. Cut the lead to one. Greg Doherty with a third Black and Blues goal. Motto now up for Reggie Lemlin along the red line. And the last goal was not whoever you called it, it was uh, Mikey Sanford. Credit the fourth Bruins goal to number five, Mike Sanford, assisted by number 71, Terry Virtue, and number one, Reg Lemelin, at 13 minutes. The fourth Bruins goal credit to Mike Sanford. There's a shot. Score! I don't have enough to do out here, eh? <laughs> well, who was it? I was looking down. Bruins lead now five to three, two goal advantage. Puck scaled ahead for Billy O'Dwyer. Run off here by Morton. Boston Bruins alumni goal scored by number six, Glenn Fairstone. Time of the goal, 16-10. Featherstone makes it 5-3. Woo! Now puck taken back by Mike Close. Over the line here with Paul McGee walking in all alone. Leaves it for McGee. McGee is shot there and ticked off the glove of Sean Miller. Close now, right wing corner. Plays it back, left wing circle. Swung on goal by Godfrey just wide. Puck played around by Glenn Featherstone. Sweeney taps it for Billy O'Dwyer. Blocked off by Mike Close. Puck goes into the black and blue zone. On it, Steve Godfrey. Godfrey had a poked at there by Featherstone. Mike Close now. Close, a shot there. And a save by Sean Miller. And he holds on for the faceoff. Folks, don't forget about the raffle. Dozens of prizes to give away here today, including gift certificates and autographed sports memorabilia. 
That's the raffle. Tickets being sold out in the concourse area. Scott Morton now rolled in front, collected by Terry Virtue. Sweeps it ahead for Sweeney, tapped for O'Dwyer. Billy O'Dwyer along the line, gives it off for Songin. Tommy Songin throws it to the left wing corner for Bob Sweeney. Follow up by Shoebottom left point. Shoebottom fed in deep for Tommy Songin. Bounce to the right wing corner, Mike Close on it for the Black and Blues. Close now, aerial pass, connects away to Bobby Smith. Lined up by Terry Virtue. Bobby Smith will try a little drag and curl and a save by Sean Miller. Puck trickles away in, taken by Terry Virtue. Aerial pass intended for shoe bottom goes all the way down to the black and blue zone. Slamansky touches it up. Black and blue's trying to come out. They trail by two with six minutes left. Bobby Smith up the left wing wall. Watched by Virtue again. Leaves it for Paul McGee. McGee spun around. Puck redirected by O'Dwyer ahead for shoe bottom. Here's shoe bottom. Picks up the trailer. Songin with a drive and he scores. Tommy Songin. Uh-oh, the goal is being waved off by the official Spex Coven, and now Songin is furious with Spex Coven. He's not in the business. You can't put your hand on him, Tommy. You get fine. You're going to hear from the league in the morning. Don't do it. Now he's grabbed the official again. He's lost his temper. He's running him towards the Bruins bench and up and over the boards. Oh, my. And now, oh, shoe bottom's in on it. Here's Songin now flailing with a right. Featherstone with a left. Oh, they're giving him the business, slamming him there over the boards. Spex Cobbin taking a beating, and now he's thrown back onto the ice. Oh, a couple broken ribs there. Let's see what the call is. It's good. The goal kicks. Boston Bruins alumni goal scored by number 17, Tom Songen, assisted by number 10, Bill O'Dwyer, and number 40, Bruce Shoebottom. Time of the goal, 1929, for Tom Sung. And for Spex Cobbin, that's the headache. You all right? You look like your shoulder got dislocated. You're tough. You can deal with that. Bob Sweeney with the puck on his helmet, trying to teach Johnny Garcia how to drop the puck. Let's see, wins the draw. Down to four minutes, 15 seconds left in the period. 6-3 Boston. Puck played along here, center ice. Keith Aguiar on it. Watched by Tommy Sung, and Bomber has the hat trick. Puck bounced in to the Bruins end first on it, Sean Miller. Taken back here by Peter Leduc. Leduc a shot there, saved by Sean Miller. Shoe bottom played it for virtue. Out comes Bob Sweeney with Tommy Songin. The BC line, Billy O'Dwyer jumps into the play. Songin now. Moves it in deep for Sweeney. 3.40 to go. Swung it out in front. And a save by Zemanski. And he holds on for the faceoff. Puck played out to the neutral zone on it. Terry Virtue. Proceed, pursued here by Keith Aguiar. Terry Virtue. Plays it off for Billy O'Dwyer. Shoebottom winds up. Bruce Shoebottom, over 3,300 career penalty minutes as a hockey professional. It's two and a half days of his life in the Sinbin. Shoe with a shot and a left pad kick out saved by Zamansky. Sweeney on the rebound for Virtue. Virtue fed into the right wing circle for Shoebottom. Tried to work it across, intercepted to Greg Doherty. Doherty scales it around the dasher, up but not out, taken by Keith Aguiar. Wheeled cross ice. Puck tapped there, free, finally jumping on the loose puck, Matt Roy. 2.25 to go, Roy harassed there by LaRose. Puck fed across here for Doherty, trying to settle it down. Hooked on the play by Guy LaRose, blocked off by LaRose. Centering pass, intercepted by Terry Virtue. Snaps the pass away to Mike Motto. Mott's holding. Also out of BC, off for Lacature with a shot. Back. Left pad saved there by Zamansky. Good scoring bid, Dan Lacature. Kept in Featherstone. Bounces it across for LaRose. To the right point. Featherstone, a shot in front, hit off the skate of Sanford. 
The Rose plays to the left point for Mike Motto. 150 to go in the, in the period here. Bruins dominating this possession. Mike Motto, top left wing circle. Across the front, tip save there by Zemanski. Good setup, Motto, for Mike Sanford. Puck rattled around, up and not out, kept in by Motto. Plays a catch here with Guy LaRose. Mike Motto fed in deep for Guy LaRose. LaRose played it off to the right side, Danny Lacature. Leaves it for LaRose, swings it rink wide for Motto. In deep for Mike Sanford. Mike Sanford's dad, Bruins Hall of Famer. And his daughter, Ari, is coaching the team today, assistant to Bob Miller. Now, Featherstone trying to move it in close, a backhand there, knocked away. Puck poked there. And taken back by the Bruins, knocked away by Steve Godfrey. Godfrey in the zone, off for McGee. One minute left in the parade, one minute. A backhander there, and they score! Black and Blues with the goal. Beautiful backhander by Bobby Smith. It's six to four. Black and Blues goal scored by number nine, Bobby Smith. Assisted by number 14, Paul McGee. Number 44, Steve Godfrey. Top goal 24-30. Bobby Smith from McGee. Godfrey for Bobby Smith. That's his second goal of the game. It's six to five. Woo! Check that six to four is the score. Now back comes Motto down to eight seconds left. Time running out here in the first half. Mike Close, a shot goes wide. Caroms all the way out to the right side. McGee leaves it for Scott Morton, a shot through a screen, and that'll do it for the first period. So we've come to the conclusion of one period of play. The score, the Boston Bruins alumni six. The Black and Blues 4, this in our 27th annual game. Folks are going to take a break. Bruins will sign autographs. Don't forget about the Boston Bruins Alumni Souvenir Stand. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. To patriot love and all thy sons command. With glowing hearts. Hey, I used to get big money for this. Uh, yeah. Ta-da! Oh, yes. One, two, three. Pump it! Pump it! I brought you the sunshine today. They did. It was raining a little while ago. Oh, 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 oh. All right, we're set for second half action. Now in goal for the Black and Blues, number one, Ryan Dragonetti. For the Boston Bruins alumni, number 37, Sean Miller. 6-4 as we come out of the break. Play underway here in the second half. Puck along the left wing boards, fed in deep behind the bench, just swatted out there by Terry Virtue. David Jensen plays it along for Reg Lemelin. Bounces across ice for Terry Virtue. Terry Virtue has a goal and an assist today. 6-4 Boston. Kicked in there by Lemlin. Fed in by Virtue. Shoe bottom tried to tip it on Dragonetti. Reggie Lemlin along left wing boards. Played for back for Jen, Jen, Dave Jensen. David Jensen now. One of two US Olympians here today. Cross ice for Virtue. Creates a break the other way. Three on two rush for the black and blues. Now trying to move in close with a shot there. Saved by Sean Miller. Close to the rebound, and he scores. Black and Blues goal scored by number two, Mike Close. Unassisted at 59 seconds. Close, unassisted. It's now six to five. Woo! Oh, that was the best one of the day. There's a shot there and a save by Sean Miller under his pass. He'll hold on for a face-off. Face-off coming up here in the Bruins alumni zone. How you doing, Specs? <laughs> now,
Thank you for clapping along. I heard that. A puck kept in the Bruins zone. Black and Blues have cut the lead to one. Aguiar plays it around the left wing corner. Centering pass. Tipped by McGee and a save by Sean Miller. Keith Aguiar, right wing circle, pursued by Lemlin. Goes upstairs, just shot it wide. On it, Greg Doherty. Doherty along the left wing boards, goes deep into the corner. Chased by Virtue. Greg Doherty, wrap around the backhand, hit the side of the net. Puck is loose. Reg Lemlin on it now. Plays it straight ahead for David Jensen, angled for Virtue. Virtue moving in with a shot there, and he scores! Terry Virtue with a goal! Boston Bruins alumni goal scored by number 71, Terry Virtue. Assisted by number 44, David Jensen, and number one, Reg Lemlin. Time of goal, 215, Virtue from Lemlin and Jensen for Terry Virtue. That's his second goal of the game. It's 7 5, Boston. Well, well. Woo! There we go. Here's Keith Aguiar lined up by Featherstone. There's a shot there over the glove hand. They score! 7 6. Black and Blues goal scored by number nine, Keith Aguiar. Assisted by number six, Scott Morton. Time of the goal, 320. Woo! Howling like wolves over there. Woo! <laughs> Seven to six. Good game here today. As soon as the Bruins get some breathing room with a two goal cushion, back come the black and blues. Puck broken up. Nice play, Godfrey along the red line. Taken away by Sweeney. Puck left alone. Grabbed back by Pete LeDuc. Played to the left wing side. Mike Close. Close now, try to work it for Godfrey. Blocked off nicely by Mike Motto. Up top for Bobby Smith. Bobby Smith, a shot saved by Sean Miller. And he sprawls on the loose puck and holds on for the faceoff. Bobby Smith on the draw against Bob Sweeney. Played into the neutral zone. Glenn Featherstone gains the line. Holding, circles back, gets it back for Songen with a shot, and he scores Tommy Songen. Got a whistle here. It's going to be waved off by the official Specs Cobbin. It's waved off. The shot is waved off. It will not count. And now Song is thrown off the gloves, going after Specs Coven. Uh oh. Oh! We've just gone to PG 13. In the words of Marv Albert, yes! Ladies and gentlemen, Anderson Cooper is here today. The goal is good, but we have penalties here. Boston Bruins alumni penalty on number 17, Tommy Songin. Two minutes for stripping. Officials penalty on Specs Coven, two minutes for cross dressing. Time of the penalty, 545. Boston Bruins alumni goal scored by number 17, Tom Sungin. Assisted by number six, Glenn Featherstone. Time of the goal, 520. Sungin from Featherstone is now eight to six. Woo! Tommy Sungin, Texas hat trick. He's got four today. 8-6 now, 18.35 to go. Here's Glenn Featherstone, set that play in motion. Trying to come out of his own end, sprawling to the ice. Peter Leduc played along by Songen for Mike Motto. Mott's backing in, cross ice for Billy O'Dwyer. Here's Glenn Featherstone, connects to Sweeney, trying to work it for Songen, looking for number five for Bomber. Bomber has had an empty net goal yesterday. Right at the buzzer. He's the Bruins alumni all-time leading scorer. Trying to tack it on here today. 
Tommy Sangha now works right out in front with a shot there. And held on by Dragonetti for the faceoff. Faceoff coming up here in the black and blue zone. Danny Latcher on the draw. There's a shot there, knocked around. Danny Lackatcher's nephew just got signed by the Baltimore Ravens yesterday. Defensive lineman out of LSU. Now Doherty walks right in, holding with a backhand there. Saved by Sean Miller. Sean's been right on this game. Rebound collected by Bruce Shoebottom. Starts it back. Shoebottom now ahead for Danny Lack. Lackatcher gains the line. Uh, for Mike Sanford. Back for Shoebottom. Drifts through traffic. Tipped there by Lackatcher. Saved by Dragonetti. Puck is loose. Cleared up and outside the line. Good defensive work there by Greg Doherty. Gilarose swings it back for Virtue, snaps the pass ahead for Lacatur, leaves it for LaRose. Gilarose along the line will reset. Danny Lacatur, Boston University, first round draft pick by the Islanders. Off to Mike Sanford. Mike played in the eye in the American Hockey League with Binghamton. Now oh, Greg Doherty takes back. Shaking up Steve Godfrey, he seems to be okay. He, shoe helping him to his feet. Steve Godfrey will go to the bench. Now puck played into the black and blue zone. Dragonetti will touch it up for Scott Morton. Morton bounces it into center ice. On it, Bruce Shoebottom. Shoe just wheels it away from Mike Sanford. Connects away to Lackature. Danny Lackature, right wing side. Goes in deep, holding, centering pass. Just tipped away by LaRose. Guy LaRose to the right wing corner. LaRose now picks up Lackature. Left alone with a shot there, saved by Dragonetti. Rebound, out in front, backhander by Sanford, looking for his second in the afternoon. And a save there by Dragon Eddy. Bounced out to center ice, Greg Doherty back on it. Watched by Terry Virtue. This has been a great one-on-one -on -one battle today. Leaves it for Morton, back for a Doherty shot. Sean Miller coming out of his crease to stop that puck. Puck is loose in front, Doherty a shot there, knocked away. Good save by Sean Miller. Virtue plays it up for Danny Lacature, breaking here with Guy LaRose. Lacature holding, flipped ahead for LaRose. LaRose back for Lacature. Now behind the net, Dan Lacature. Tipped there, the shot by Sanford, saved by Dragonetti, and he holds on for the faceoff. Faceoff coming up. It will be in the black and blue zone. Folks, last call for raffle tickets before we start drawing the winners. Last call for raffle tickets. And don't forget the Boston Bruins alumni souvenir stand. Last game of the season for the 2017-2018 Boston Bruins alumni. That is still open. Faceoff right wing circle. Black and Blues take possession. Puck moved outside the line. Here's Keith Aguiar, right wing side. He's got a goal. Three on two rush. Aguiar moves it back. Here's close with a shot saved by Sean Miller, and he holds on for the faceoff. Keith Aguiar on the draw against Reg Lemelin. Lemelin won it for Middleton. Back for Mike Motto. Lead for Reggie. Breaking out with Glenn Featherstone, David Jensen. Lemelin leaves it for Jensen. Back for Featherstone. Bounced across for Nifty, Rick Middleton. Puck taken back by Terrell Parent. Puck bounced into the black and blue zone. They trail 8-6, 14 minutes to go. A lead here for Keith Aguiar. Aguiar trying to walk right in, holding with a shot saved by Sean Miller. Spectacular stop by Sean. Rebound, just shot wide. Parent keeps it in left point. Terrell Parent with a shot one wide to the right wing corner. Good pressure here by the Black and Blues. Keith Aguiar, right point. Fed into the right wing corner. Puck chipped out of the zone. Skitters all the way down to the Black and Blue zone. 13.35 left. First on it, Terrell Parent. Winding up behind his own net. Puts on the brakes. Sends it ahead for Aguiar. Trying to steer it there for Peter Leduc. Taken back by the Bruins, Reggie Lemlin. Off for David Jensen. Leaves it for Middleton, back for Lemlin. A shot there by Reggie, just goes wide. Puck comes all the way around right wing boards, black and blues, trying to work it out. Over the line, close. Goes beyond Featherstone, Mike Close and deep, gets it here. Shot here by Roy, just went wide. 
Rebound. Aguiar tried to jab at it. Flipped out by Featherstone. Rick Middleton will settle it down. Over 400 career goals for Nifty. Over 1,000 career points. Back comes Matt Roy. Roy holding. Watched by Jensen. Drops it back to Mike Close. Close trying to weave his way through traffic. Goes in deep behind the net. Mike Close bounces it up top. Nobody home. Back to fetch Bobby Smith. Bobby Smith now. Plays it to Dragonetti. Dragonetti gives it off for Bobby Smith. 8-6 the score. 12 minutes and 30 seconds left. Greg Doherty works parallel, gains the line, holding a shot saved by Sean Miller. Sean's played well here today. Doherty with the rebound up top. Kept in Bobby Smith. Bouncing pass there. Trying to put it in Lecce. And a save by Sean Miller. And he holds on for the faceoff. Faceoff coming up in the Boston Bruins alumni zone. Again, folks, last call, last call for raffle tickets being sold out in the concourse area. Dozens of prizes to give away. Bob Sweeney on the draw against Bobby Smith. Smith won it. Kept in by Godfrey. Steve Godfrey now whistles a pass across. Trying to combine with Lecce. Play back to the right point, Scott Morton. Morton holds it. Doherty, a shot there, save the rebound. Oh, trying to jam it home, Lecce. Almost had his second goal of the game. Now, Godfrey getting jammed by Shoebottom, gives him the cuff on the back of the head. That was Doherty there in a jam with Shoebottom. Virtue gets it back. Bob Sweeney, fed across the front, saved by Dragon, and he puck is loose, and back comes Steve Godfrey. Godfrey. Through center ice, gains the blue line. Godfrey, a shot saved by Miller. Rebound, deflects over to Billy O'Dwyer. Sweeney backs in, under 11 to go, 8-6 Boston. 27th annual game between the Black and Blues and the Boston Bruins alum. Sangin with a shot there, and he scores. Number five for Tommy Sangin on the day. Boston Bruins alumni goal scored by number 17, Tom Sungin. Assisted by number 20, Bob Sweeney. Number 40, Bruce Shoebottom. Time of the goal, 14-14. Sungin from Sweeney and Shoebottom. For Tommy Sungin, his fifth goal of the day. That is the most goals scored by a Boston Bruins alumni player in nine years. Everybody give him five. Ready? Woo! I think that's enough, thanks. Did somebody say something mean to the referee? Are you crying? Is the referee crying? There's no crying in hockey, are you crying? Oh, no, I'm sorry, you went to Taco Bell. Okay, so, a face off here, or Starbucks actually, that's, no, that's Starbucks for sure. Face off left wing circle, my boy has been for five years now. Now, face off left wing circle, won by Aguiar, taken back by Song and trying to slip the D, Tommy Song and five goals. That's old-time hockey. Off for Bob Sweeney. Swoop figured in that last goal. He's got four points on the day. Swoop with a long reach. 9.15 to go. 9.6 the score. Behind the net. Terry Virtue. He's got four points in the afternoon. Puck tipped in front. Song and trying to jam it home there with a shot. And knocked away. Back from the black and blues. Keith Aguiar. A lead here. Pete LaDuke. All the way down to Sean Miller, paddles it right back out, and Dan Lackature with possession, streaking in. Lackey holding, wheels it back for Sanford. Sanford a drive, saved by Dragonetti, and he holds on for the faceoff. Do you need some KF Pectate or a Pepto? First of all, did you know that that was strapped to your back? When you came out of the men's room, did you know? <laughs> There's a score! <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on! Sanford from Lancashire and Featherstone. All right, thanks, buddy. 
Jim Bruins alumni score by number five, Mike Sanford. Assisted by number 28, Dan Lacature. And number six, Glenn Featherstone. Time of the Bruin goal, 17-20. That's Sanford with his second goal of the game from Lacature and Featherstone. It's now 10 to six there, and another goal, 11 to six. Getting your laps in today, Donnie. Boston Bruins alumni goal scored by number 28, Dan assisted by number five, Mike Sanford. That goal, 16-15. It's 11 6. Two quick goals, Mike Sanford from Dan Lacature and Featherstone, then Lacature from Sanford. Mike Sanford, two goals on the day. Danny Lecture, four points in the afternoon. 12-6. Woo! You thought I forgot, didn't you? All right, there's a played by Motto in front. And a score! Boston Bruins alumni. Goal scored by number five, Sanford. Assisted by number 27, Mike Motto. Tommy from Mike Sanford. That's the hat trick. Mike Sanford with a hat trick. Tommy Songen with five goals. They've accounted for eight of the 12 for Boston. 12 to six. Woo. 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 There you, go. you don't go for the woo trick. Puck played all the way down. Sean Miller, he's made some spectacular stops here today. Less than six to go. Bruins have doubled the score of the Black and Blues, 12-6. Here's Guy LaRose, gains the line. Played in behind the net. Around for Sanford. Mike Sanford, five points on the day. Three goals, two assists. Played in by Motts. Cross for Featherstone, chopped away by Lecce. Back comes Bobby Smith. A lead here from Mike Close, two on one rush. Mike Motto back. Morton joins the rush, a shot, score! Bobby Smith with a goal. Black and Blues goal scored by number nine, Bobby Smith. Assisted by number 46, Paul Lecce. Number two, Mike Close. Time of the goal, 24.50. So folks are gonna be posting the raffle ticket numbers outside. They're posted outside, right, Karen? Okay, okay, I can put it outside. We're gonna be posting the raffle tickets numbers outside for you, and you can see them on the way out. It's, uh, I'll, I'll, I didn't know yeah, yeah, just why don't we post them, yeah, yeah. We're going to post the raffle tickets for you on the, on the way out of the building today, folks. You can see them. Karen's got them posted. Again, on behalf of the Black and Blues, thank you so much for supporting us and the charities that we support, including Medical Missions for Children, Massasoit Community College, Brockton Rotary Club, Breast Cancer, Lori's Breast Friends, and Massasoit Girls Softball Team. And there's a shot and a goal, another goal. They're coming left and right now. And score, Bruins breaking it open. Songin from Jensen. Boston Bruins alumni goal scored by number 17, Tom Songin. Assisted by number 44, David Jensen. Time of the goal, 21-15. For Tom Songin, that's the double hat trick. Six on the day. Woo! Six on the day for Songin, 3.30 to go. 13-7. Bruins lead. By a touchdown. Puck played along the line. David Jensen. Jensen has four points, five points on the day for David Jensen. Played to center ice along the line. Chopped at. Mike Close. There was Terrell Parent trying to make a play. 
Now a battle there. McGee spun around, played all the way down to Sean Miller. He'll leave it for Bruce Shoebottom. So, a cross ice here for Keith Aguiar. Bobby Smith gains the line, right wing side. Drops it back, a trailer here by LaDuke, just shot it wide. Terry Virtue on the loose puck. Fed ahead for Reggie, sitting on the blue line. Reggie, checked to the play by Scott Morton. Reggie Lemlin curls back, a long line holding. Left alone, high slot, played in for Song and looking for seven. Puck played cross ice. Reggie Lemlin, they're looking for Bomber again. Six goals, that's the most goals scored by a player in a Boston Bruins alumni game in 15 years. Now Paul LeDuc gets it back for Bob Smith, taps it here for Doherty with a shot, ricochets wide. Good, good set up there, Doherty and Pete LeDuc. Here's Godfrey now trying to move it across in front, saved by Sean Miller. Somehow got the glove hand, another blocker saved by Sean. He's getting peppered here. Now across in front, tapped away by Sean Miller. Spectacular goaltending. Puck played out. Tommy Sung with six goals today. A shot saved by Sean Miller, rolls free, and tapped in by Peter LaDuke. Black and Blues goal scored by number 88, Peter LaDuc, unassisted at 23.57. 23.57, LaDuc unassisted. It's now 13 to 8. Woo! 13 to 8 the score. A lot of goals here. One minute left in the bread. Puck tapped up by Dragonetti. Off of Matt Roy. Folks, on behalf of the Black and Blues, Peter Crone, Karen Crone, thank you so much for your support throughout the years. The 27th annual game. Hopefully we can have some more. Here's Scott Morgan, a shot. Morton, a shot saved there by Sean Miller. Rebound tapped away by Mike Motto, kept in by Lecce. Mike Motto now ahead for Song, and he's got six goals, two assists today. Bomber's got eight points. His pass intercepted by Bobby Smith, fed out with 30 seconds to go after it's Feather. Four point afternoon for Glenn Featherstone. Puck played up, down to 19 seconds left. Uh oh, what happened to the official? Where do you get your tickets on StubHub? There you go. Okay. So now Puck, they've cleared the benches. Peter Crone has sent everybody out. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and we got a whistle here. A whistle here. Hold on. A whistle. Too many men on the ice. Bomber gets a penalty shot. Too many men on the ice, and Tommy Songen gets a penalty shot. Outstanding job, Sean Miller between the pipes. Good job done by Mike Zemanski and also Ryan Dragonetti. But Bomber, you get one penalty shot against Dragonetti. Seven goals will set the record for the Boston Bruins alumni the post Chief days. Here's Bomber now. They throw that. A shot there goes wide. The final score, 13 to 8. Folks, how about a hand for the Black? Blues, in Boston Bruins alumni, including their 2017-2018 season, on behalf of all the teams that we played, the fans, the families, thank you so much for supporting us here today. The final score, 13 to 8. Our three stars of today's game, the number three star from the Boston Bruins alumni, goaltender number 37, Sean Miller. Our two star finishes the afternoon with a hat trick and two assists. From the Boston Bruins alumni, number five, Mike Sanford. And number one star, six goals, two assists from the Boston Bruins alumni, number 17, Tommy Songen. Let's go Bruins against Tampa Bay. Woo! Thank you so much for coming out, folks.